So now that we have got our site location and we found it all okay, we're going to be removing our geocoding uh, point source that we found earlier. So to do that, you just right click on the layer and click remove layer. And from here, we're going to be adding our site boundary around sort of this pinky purple um, area, as well as the car park. So to do this, you want to go up to layer, create layer, and add new shape file layer. From here, you want to make sure you've always got the correct coordinate system selected. So as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using the British National Grid, which is this one here. And then geometry type, we're going to be using polygon. You can do a line if you want as a line string, um, but I always like to do polygon as you can easily find sort of the area of your site um, and details like that. So to select where you want the files to be saved, you're going to be creating quite a lot of shape files usually in your QGIS projects. So I tend to create a separate folder for all of these layers, um, which you can find by clicking the three dots in this top right and then create a folder i've created one earlier here training tutorials and we'll call this one qgis layers and then you give your layer a name so this will be the site boundary and click save okay and from here it will show up on your layers selection that you've got site boundary and it's currently in brown Obviously, nothing will show up on the map because we haven't actually plotted where we want it. So to actually start the editing and drawing on your site boundary, you want to make sure your layer is selected, so site boundary, and then we'll go up to this pencil, which is toggle editing. Then from there, you'll notice that these buttons become available to be clicked. This one is the one that we're going to be using, is add polygon feature. So click that and you'll notice that your mouse cursor sort of does change to these sort of crosshairs. Mm -hmm. From here, you can just start tracing your site boundary. I'll draw mine, but I'll speed the video up at this part. So once you have finished your editing, you want to right click on your mouse. And then it will ask you to create an ID in here. You can just put whatever number really, if it's just a site boundary. So just put in one and it will create the layer. And now you might be thinking, oh, that looks awful. Well, yeah, it does at the moment. But to change this, you double click on the site boundary and then that will open up this page, which is just all of the layers properties. Um, to change any of its looks, you want to go to symbology. And for site boundary, it tends to be an outline red. So that is just a, a simple line on the outside and will create your site boundary. And then to, to finalize and save the layer, you just click toggle editing and save. So there we have our site boundary set up. Um, we can add more features, which we'll go on to next.